everyone. Reverse or not to reverse? That is the question that Kate from the Escape from the Eight of Swords put out yesterday. Not quite in those words, I've elaborated slightly. But she asked the question when she did a chat on uh, her take on reversals. And I thought, being a complete newbie, um, and I will probably be a newbie for the rest of my life because there's so much to learn. Um, but having come to it only since April, uh, I thought I'd give my take on it because, it, you know, there's a lot of experience out there amongst the, the lovely community. And I really don't know very much. So from my perspective, when I started looking and trying to learn, I was very daunted by reversals. Uh, and Kate rightly says, you know, when you do a spread, she would often go, you know, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, I've got a, a reverse. And it would make her anxious. Well, it makes me anxious. I don't like it either. And I think that was a big problem for me because I found that I didn't really know why some people did reversals and other people don't. And I'm still not quite clear on that. Um, I understand from what I've read that reversals when tarot was actually a game wouldn't have possibly been in in there at all so i imagine that over time as people became more intuitive if they were doing a spread and they found that they had a card reversed they would give some significance to that which i could understand but for me as a beginner it did dawn it, it was daunting and some of the books will give you reversal um meanings and other books don't and some of the books will say you know my cards are not designed for reversals and others do so it's a really mixed bag um, and I found that this was a, a sort of a bit of an issue for me because I didn't know which way I should go part of me felt that I should be taking notice of a reversal and the other part of me did not want to see any reversals because it might be a negative connotation and I have I, enough negative in my life but you know if you're doing it for self-development then you kind of do need to be aware of that possible reverse meaning so that said I would listen to what other youtubers were doing and some of the those who've obviously been around for a long time and are very experienced I kind of wanted to to go with that and then I thought maybe it's also worth going with whatever the deck says. So where you get a deck that doesn't have reversals, you don't do reversals. And if you've got one that does, you know, have reversals in it, well, if you get a reverse card, you take, you know, that meaning as well. And I, I've kind of tried to steer away from reversals. So um, I decided that, you know, I wasn't going to do reversals. That that was exactly where I was going. I had enough to learn. I didn't need any more pressure. And I didn't want to be doing a spread where I felt that, you know, I was upset or anxious about something. And as I don't read for anyone else, it is just about me. Um, so I would I would sort of steer clear of that and I would make sure that I kept the, the deck in the right order. And I have sort of stuck with that for the most part. And I still kind of get that little bit of dread if a card does pop up reversed um, because my mindset hasn't changed enough yet to not feel that that is a negative connotation but I don't believe that it is and I think I read a book or I certainly read somewhere but it all merges into one I'm afraid um, where they were saying these are not negatives and I think Kate touched on this very well yesterday that these are simply perhaps uh, something you need to be more aware of or just you know adapt uh, your your meaning when you're reading the spread to the possibility that there might be um, more to it and I think there was one deck oh if only I could remember which one that said you know there's negative and positive in the cards regardless you've just got to kind of go with your gut and your intuition on that um, and I think that's really where I'm at. 
why do some people do reversals and some people don't i think that's probably down to intuition and how they've learned um, and perhaps some decks do lend themselves more to reversals than others for my part i'd like to get over that fear that comes of a reversal card that sort of oh dear but uh, at the same time i'm quite good at facing challenges i think except perhaps you know when they're your challenges you you need those cards to kind of go hang on a minute you're you're seeing this situation about yourself through your rose tinted glasses and you're not looking at it you know objectively so i i think there is a, a possible you know argument for reversals and i'm sure there are you know many people that will say <laughs> absolutely um but equally not and i think as a beginner it's not a bad thing to sort of avoid them and i don't use reversals in oracle decks either but as i say i'm i'm very new to this and learning the decks themselves are kind of key to me so i I do get occasionally a reversal when I've shuffled and I've put them back together wrong and I cannot avoid that then. When it comes out, it's there. So I'm aware of it. Um, but I don't particularly go out of my way to split my deck and turn some upside down so that we, we get some reversals. I, I'm not prepared to do that. I think if it's meant to be, it'll happen. So that's my take on it and um, if you haven't seen um, Kate's video on uh, her channel Escape from the Eight of Swords I would strongly recommend you have a quick jump over there and, and have a look at it and uh, thanks for watching. Bye!